Well, the future of business in Africa is looking quite bright, um, specifically in our country, South Africa as well. I see us as the pinnacle point for Africa, a good place for, how can I say, uh, good products to congregate. Um, but I've seen a shift in the last uh, two to three years, um, and the shift has is, is gone towards local manufacturing, um, specifically for the African market. Ultimately, uh, we've seen a gap in the market, so the gap is uh, quality-orientated products, um, products that uh, focus on quality but also focus on design and functionality specifically for um, our businesses uh, that we target in the African market i.e. this shows a perfect example the mining industry um, so we see we saw a gap and we we took that gap we took it about 25 years ago um, at that stage we were a very big uh, how can I say um, consumer of Italian and uh, German goods um, from there, what we have done is we have taken a, a, a different approach and we have said, well, if we are going to start something on the manufacturing side in South Africa, what can we do right now with the resources that we have? So we've started from a, a design and a frame point of view, ultimately. Um, and the plan is in the future to hopefully uh, do things like manufacture pumps, um, which are, is something that's is I think one company has tried to do it before in the past, but we've never really gotten onto the world stage because the price point wasn't correct. Um, but I think that uh, where we are as South Africa at the moment, we're in a great place to uh, start reigniting that manufacturing uh, flair, if I can call it. I could say all of our products, um, ultimately at the end of the day, we are a manufacturing house, so it's not necessarily our services unless we are talking about our current competition, which I would like to try and make our clients, um, you know, offer our services in that regard. Um, but we've been, over the last 12 months specifically, because that's now how long I've been in this position, been concentrating on um, not necessarily the niche markets, getting our bread and butter right, if I, can, if I can call it that. So really focusing on what we have in terms of pressure washes currently and how can we take those pressure washes to the next level, so to speak. Um, so that's what we've been focusing on. And one of the pressure washers in, uh, that I'd like to mention here uh, is our universal autonomous PWP frame, um, which now is, is, is a huge game changer um, for uh, the mining industry ultimately at the end of the day. Um, we can now put powerhouses of anywhere up to 35 horsepower onto a very mobile frame. Um, which ultimately from the bigger brands overseas, if I can call them that, uh, don't do, you know. And if they do do, it's an overcomplicated frame and uh, it becomes a way too expensive, even for the likes of the bigger brands to try and sell in our country. So that's our sort of angle as to where we're approaching how to make it, how uh, well, the product that's going to try and revolutionize and push us in the right direction. Uh, from there, we've also drawn a lot of inspiration from this year's Electra Mining. Um, what inspiration? Ultimately, electrical, a lot of uh, different brands are here, especially from the electrical side, so more functionality into our machines, more safety, and then of course, um, uh, easier to service the units as well. We are also looking at, and I don't want to give all the secrets away, but we are also looking at um, uh, making our machines uh, completely, how can I say, uh, wireless, um, not necessarily from a functionality point of view, but more from a, uh, an information point of view. So our machines will be able to tell us uh, at any given time that we check what sort of parameters they are running on live and also what sort of parameters they've seen over the last couple of hours, you know. So that's one of the big things as well. So we draw inspiration uh, specifically from the other brands around us as well, not necessarily in our markets, um, but uh, like I said, electrical brands and so forth. So as soon as they innovate on new products, it helps us innovate the whole um, idea of the pressure washer. This development was a passion. This, is, of course, was a family company. And um, the passion started all the way in the beginning with um, my current director's father, Chris Dahl. And um, we, like I said in my, um, in my seminar, uh, nobody's born and says, ah, oh, I want to build pressure washers, you know. It, it's, it's not something that you're born into. It's something that you have to have a passion for technically first. And then from there, I think the passion starts to grow and it grows with your interest. You can't be passionate about something that you're not interested in. Um, so ultimately, uh, the passion would come from our staff, um, a lot from me as well. Uh, and a lot from our directors, we all share the same goal and the same vision. And the vision is to ultimately grow GDP in South Africa, um, you know, and 
with that comes job creation. Uh, gone are the days where we have um, where we can rely on um, how can I say the leaders of the country. So we have to try and play our parts as well. And that was the main driving focus for me. And that's where the passion. Um, for the sense of machinery it uh, basically comes from and uh, that passion will pull us forward um, to create such uh, amazing sh machines that we can start putting onto the world stage. Our ultimate goal is to start manufacturing pumps like I said as well um, but we would like to also go start going onto the international stage like with Interclean in Amsterdam. Um, we were looking at it this year, uh, we weren't ready but maybe in the next two years time. So our products are ultimately South African made right um, whereas a lot of our competitors are importing um, so we focus on the South African market now it, like I said earlier it, it's not just um, the uh, pumps and the motors that we need to look at it's it's, it's more the product in itself you know so uh, we are we are focusing on a, 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 a product that is great for the mining industry specifically for this but we aren't only uh, focusing on that um, we've uh, sort of focused on the food and bev industry as well the hospitality industry and of course facilities management as well so I think our our net of products is, 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 is quite a, um, a, a wide variety um, where some of our competitors they would sort of sell the bread and butter is what I like to call it the standard pressure washers and then when things get a bit too complicated um, like on the hot water machines and uh, onto the more um, how can I say uh, niche machines they would rather purchase those machines from overseas um, because uh, there are some things that can go wrong if you haven't researched it properly so we ultimately as a brand we like to do research and development on our machines all the time we actually have a research and development department um, where I think a lot of our competitors don't really have that. Um, so that's what's driving the innovation force and what really sets us apart um, from our competitors. Um, but five years ago, I didn't see this innovation um, happening before my eyes. Um, but now, ultimately, now that my eyes have been open to the whole situation, I can actually see that uh, we are in a league of our own. And also going to China last year and seeing what sort of level they on, um, and I don't want to necessarily mention what sort of level they on. Um, we have a lot of fresh ideas in South Africa, and um, I want and well, our brand in a sense is how I think the country should be going in that direction. You know, we should all think positive and um, really uh, just keep the hopes up um, ultimately. And, and where we are as a country right now. Um, I am really, really feeling good about it and ultimately this is the time to strike. So SEMSA as a brand, um, in my mind I hold it very dear, um, like I do uh, the future of this uh, country as well. Yeah.